Hi, welcome to The Pain Show. I'm Dr. Paul Lynch. And I'm Dr. Tori McJunkin. We're gonna talk about vertebroplasty today, and we're gonna show you an actual procedure and walk you through that procedure. Vertebroplasty is a simple outpatient procedure that is typically performed within 30 minutes. It is usually performed with light sedation. The area is prepped and draped in a sterile fashion, and a surgical field is created. Numbing medicines such as lidocaine are used to anesthetize the skin. A small three millimeter incision is made with a scalpel and then a trocar is placed through anesthetized tissue and into the pedicle. This is all done with x-ray guidance. The trocar or needle is advanced to the anterior one-third of the vertebral body. This is the perfect location to begin the delivery of cement. When the correct position of the needle is visualized on x-ray, methyl methacrylate or bone grade cement is placed through the needle. This is at the consistency of toothpaste. Depending on the location of the fracture, anywhere from two to six cc's of cement is delivered into the vertebral body. As the cement begins to harden, it forms a cast inside the vertebral body. By stabilizing the bone, it prevents movement and thus stops the pain. And typically patients feel relief within hours of the procedure. The trocar is then removed Special care is taken not to leak the cement outside of the bone, and a small band-aid is placed over the three millimeter incision site. The patient is then taken to the recovery area and laid in a flat position for approximately one hour. At this point, the patient goes home the same day, typically within two hours of coming to the procedure center. Thanks for joining us for this episode of The Pain Show, brought to you by paindoctor.com. If you want more information about vertebroplasty, please visit us at paindoctor.com to read more about this procedure as well as other pain conditions and treatments. Remember, at The Pain Show, we believe you can be pain-free.